Mr. Speaker, a little bit concerned. These are the words of the Prime Minister when he was asked about President Biden's proposed tax rebate for electric cars that excludes the ones made right here in Canada. A little bit concerned about the tens of thousands of Canadian jobs in jeopardy. A little bit concerned about our second largest export. The Americans are walking all over this Prime Minister. And what is it going to take for him to show a lot of concern for the Canadians who are out of work because of his lack of courage? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as we did for steel and aluminum workers with measures that the Leader of the Opposition called dumb, we are continuing to stand up for Canada's electric vehicle industry and its workers. I raised the issue directly with President Biden and congressional leaders in Washington just a couple of weeks ago. I made it clear to them that this policy would have significant negative consequences not just on Canada but on the U.S. auto industry. Canada and the U.S. have a shared priority of protecting our cross-border supply chains. We will keep pressing the United States on this important issue. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. To do with supply chains, President Biden has enhanced the Buy America measures. He's strengthened his protectionist agenda. He's raised tariffs on Canada. Under this Prime Minister, our relationship with the strongest ally has become our biggest failure. The Prime Minister went to Washington. He lost the fight on lumber. He lost the fight on farmers. He's about to lose the fight on auto workers, and he didn't even bother to put up a fight for the workers in the energy sector. Is the Prime Minister even trying anymore? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite should know that our auto sector is all about supply chains, and that's exactly what we've been working on with the United States, to, to demonstrate to them at which point the integration between the Canadian and the American economy, the Canadian and American supply chains, is something that is important not just for Canadian jobs, but for American jobs as well. We stood up for steel workers. We stood up for aluminum workers, despite the, the, uh, the capitulation proposed by the Conservative Party of Canada. We have continued to stand up for Canadians. We will continue to stand up for Canadian workers. Yeah. The Honourable Member.